Hey guys, today I wanted to talk about how to get over someone that you never dated. I'm gonna share with you guys a really embarrassing story of my own experience with this. Don't feel embarrassed about this situation. This is a very common situation and you can get past this and definitely overcome this, okay? So I'm gonna share with you guys my own story with this. It is embarrassing, but you know, I feel like I could help somebody out there with my own experience in this. So this was back about 10 years ago. This was back before tinder or bumble or any of those dating apps that everybody uses nowadays this was literally all i had was plenty of fish on a desktop computer you know honestly i wasn't really even looking for anything serious at that point in my life i was just looking to get laid basically so i figured that pof would be a good choice for that <laughs> someone had messaged me on pof I don't know what he said it was something really generic like what's up or something like that and after looking at this guy's profile I thought to myself oh my god this guy is completely out of my league he was so hot he had like such a nice face blue eyes blonde hair not saying blue eyes and blonde hair is like Oh my god like nobody with blue eyes and blonde hair is not hot that's not what i'm saying i'm just describing what he looked like he was pretty built like he was in shape he just was totally my type he had a baby face i'm like really into baby faces back in those days i used to be really direct when i wanted to get laid i would just be like dtf or do you want to hook up i'm not recommending that you act this way i learned the hard way that that's really not the best way to go about dating people and seeing people that's actually a good way to get disrespected really fast but this is back when i was 20 and i didn't know any better so that is literally what i said to him was something along those dot lines of course he was like totally dtf right what guy isn't <laughs> Ugh. And so I thought I would just make it fun and make it a little bit of a challenge for him And I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna be at this bar tonight or this club You know what I look like, you know, you've seen my profile pictures find me I wanted to see if he was up for that challenge So I was at the bar with a few girlfriends dancing on the dance floor and He found me he like went on the dance floor and he came up behind me and grabbed me by the waist and I look back and it's him and oh my goodness ladies he was even more attractive in life than he was on the profile picture I just couldn't believe how I don't know it was like one of those jackpot moments okay and to top it off he was an amazing dancer Oh my goodness, I was blown away by his dancing skills. He danced with me all night and he was so confident and just really just bring it. And I like, in my mind, I was thinking this dude, if he knows how to dance this well, he knows how to do other things really, really well. <laughs> so I was really excited to like hook up with this guy, you know? and just even like get to know him. He seemed pretty cool. What ended up happening was at that point, I actually didn't have my own place because I was 20 and I had just moved to that town actually. So I was literally just renting a room in a random like rooming house. And I assumed that this guy had a place and had his life together. I was wrong. When it was bar closed, the lights turned on and everybody was like, you know, getting ready to leave and everything. He's like, oh, well, you don't have a place. And I was like, well, don't you have a place? And he said, no, he's like, why don't we we just go to a hotel and I don't know why but that really really sketched me out I was like mm, like seems like a little bit of an impulsive decision and I I honestly couldn't tell you to this day but I just didn't want to do that I just chickened out and I just kind of ditched him at the bar and went home with my girlfriends fast forward to the morning after he still had my number i think at that point he had my number like texting me and he texted me like right in the morning at like 10 or 11 a.m and he's like there's no one at my place now why don't you come over also i got another surprise that day i actually got my period so i texted him i was like well i would love to but i am on my period and he was like so dot 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 oh okay ladies i'm just gonna do a little tangent here do not be embarrassed about period sex if a guy is mature and he's not like 18 years old period sex really doesn't phase guys it's just if, if a guy's been in a long-term relationship he's had period sex and it's just like whatever most guys literally don't care about it sorry if that grosses some of you guys out but 
that's just the reality and that's just what I've learned over my lifetime so he like literally didn't care he's like yeah actually I don't care that you're on your period like why don't you just come over anyways and I was like okay and I don't know why but I felt good about that so he actually was in the same situation that I was in just renting a room at some house and just nobody was there that day so it worked out great nobody was at his place so i like showed up at his place i took a cab to his place before we even hooked up or did anything we actually had an amazing amazing conversation and i actually discovered that he had a lot of things in common with me and that he wasn't just some dummy that i met on pof he had a, a really interesting personality and he really actually did stand out from a mental point of view so not only was he physically very attractive but he was also quite intelligent interesting engaging and he actually made his own music which i thought was so amazing he made like all these rap songs and stuff and he wrote a lot of poetry and i'd read his poems they were well done I, at that point i actually was kind of a writer not like by trade or anything but i actually wrote on my downtime as well so i knew how to recognize if someone was good at writing or not and he definitely was was so i was just blown away and i just was like wow like this guy is super super cool interesting and we had a lot in common then we hooked up and my god it was amazing the sex was amazing he was so good in bed and i was just like wow this guy is like checking off all the boxes here okay and i was starting to really like him and after that we had a great communication we actually started emailing each other like poems like i know this sounds really nerdy but what we would do is is I would write like half a poem and then he would write the other half of the poem and we would do like a little email like that and like combine our writing together and it was so fun and so interesting you know like everybody has their own thing we actually had like our own thing we hung out a few times we messaged all the time like it seemed like he was really interested in me as well and then another time we hung out we were at a park all day and he told me all these personal things about himself how his mom passed away when he was younger and how it had a really traumatic effect upon him he struggled with alcohol abuse all these personal things that you just don't tell just anybody right like i'm not gonna go around telling everybody my deepest problems or like the most traumatic things that happened in my past i don't just tell that to anybody right so i was like wow this guy like must really like me because he is just sharing all this really personal information with me i took that as like a sign and then the last time i ever saw him this is gonna sound really bad but he messaged me at like i think three in the morning for like a booty call he so I really don't want to go into detail but I was doing other things and it just worked out that I was just out and about and I could actually stop by his place to hook up or whatever he hooked up it was amazing amazing like sex I can't even ladies this guy was my good I can't you guys you guys it was amazing okay so then the next morning we wake up we go eat breakfast and everything's great like there's no signs that he doesn't like me or he's not into me like there's I have no indication and then after that he texts me all the time and he starts texting me more and more and more like the messages are getting more and more frequent i was like wow this guy's like so into me you know and i even like was like maybe we could just take things to the next level like maybe it will get to that point i wasn't like dropping hints at him or anything i was just thinking in my mind you know maybe this is going somewhere at this point i was actually working in the oil sands so you aren't allowed to bring your phone into the oil sands otherwise you automatically get fired so i like left my phone in my locker i had 12 hour shifts so i wouldn't message anybody for 12 hours and then I would get off work and then message everybody back and he had messaged me that morning a bunch of times and I obviously like didn't respond because I was at work right and so then I responded when I was off work and I got nothing though like the whole rest of the day and I was like okay well whatever he's just busy like the next day I messaged him like hey what's up I didn't message him after that because I'm not the type to incessantly message like I'll message you maybe twice max and if you don't respond I'm assuming you don't want to talk to me and I was literally ghosted. Like I did not hear anything from him. Okay, and this was back before we had Snapchat or like Facebook, so I couldn't see if he was online on Facebook or I couldn't see if he was like watching my stories on Snap. We just had text. So I don't even know, maybe he blocked me. Like I have no idea. He just didn't respond and I had no idea why. Like there was no clues. There was no like slow fade. There was no, oh, well, maybe we should slow things down or oh, like I don't want anything serious. He never said anything like that to me. Like it just seemed like things were naturally progressing to the point that maybe we would get serious. So I 
I was so confused. I was like, what the F happened? Well, I found out about two weeks later. I didn't hear anything from him for the two weeks. And then I was like on a bus to go somewhere in town and I looked out the window and he was there with another girl. And that is exactly what happened. Basically, this is how guys operate. And even women operate this way too with guys. I've seen women do this is they will secure you as a consistent source or like a hookup. They'll be nice to you and they'll seem interested in you and just, you know, check all the boxes like I said. But you are on the back burner and they're still looking for someone else, okay? They're basically playing you and when they do find someone else or someone else catches their interest, boom, you're out of there. Like you are gone, you're knocked off. So the entire time I was on the back burner, I was plan B. Okay, because if I wasn't, he would have never done that. He wouldn't have been looking for anybody else. I wanna say, if this happens to any of you ladies, 90% of the time, that's what actually happened, is you just were an option. And he was just keeping you around until he found someone else. And that is just the nature of online dating nowadays. That is just how she goes. So I had to accept that reality. It sucks. I'm not gonna lie, like, it really does suck to, for that to happen to you. No, you're probably wondering, like, what's wrong with me? Like, am I not hot enough? Or am I, like, not smart enough? Or what happened exactly? My word of advice is, if you're gonna play the game, the Tinder game, the online dating game, know the rules. Know the rules of the game. Know how to play the game, okay? And this does happen. So look for the signs that you're the snack and not the main course. Okay, and if you want to know if this guy is like really legit serious about you and he might want something serious with you, check out my video, Things He'll Do If He Wants A Relationship. Because in that video, I talk about the things that he won't do versus the things he will do if he really is serious about you. So basically the way I overcame it was that I accepted that this is just the way it is and that I needed to really up my game. Okay, I needed to really bring it and improve myself so that I didn't feel insecure about this happening to me. Now, if that happened to me, I actually kind of wouldn't care. Like I wouldn't, it wouldn't really phase me. I would just kind of move on. But back then, I really was questioning myself, questioning my worth, questioning if I was attractive, questioning if I was intelligent. And if you're doing all of these things, that is a sign that you actually need to up your game in those areas of your life improve those areas the point is is what are you capable of how attractive could you be how smart could you be how interesting could you be because if you don't feel like you're at your full potential and full capacity that's going to create the insecurity because you in your heart know that you could boss up more if you wanted if you had bossed up and you had improved yourself maybe that wouldn't be happening to you this is what was going through my head, right? These were the thoughts going through my head. So I said, well, you know, I could be more attractive. I'll show you an old picture. I can up my game that way. I can get in shape. I can eat healthy. I can do things to improve how attractive I am. At that time, I didn't really feel all that smart, honestly. I knew I could up my game in that area as well. I started to read books. I started to learn. I started to listen to audiobooks just to have a good general knowledge of different subjects so that I could be engaging and interesting and keep someone's interest. It's not all about how you look. You've gotta have the full package. Also, goals, goals and dreams. That's really important. You might be like, what does that have to do with this? Everything. Because if you have goals and dreams, you feel like you are valuable, okay? You're bringing value to the world and you have something to offer. And when you are in such a driven, motivated mindset, you don't really give a shit if a guy is into you or not because you are focused on you and your ambitions and improving your life, okay? And you will be so confident in yourself. You will feel so beautiful and feel so unstoppable that the guy that's really meant to be in your life will just show up. You won't get these clowns anymore who are using you for sex and ghosting you and doing all these disrespectful things, you're gonna attract a guy that's really high quality if you really up your game and boss up. And that is just literally fact.
It's fact. And I promise you that will happen. If you guys want to know more about how I became beautiful using the law of attraction, check out that video. Also, high value woman traits. I promise you, ladies, if you have all of these traits, you're going to find an amazing guy that will never, ever do that to you. Also, add me on Instagram. You can DM me for video requests at Lyra Scotch with a Z. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.